So finally after the massive lockdowns here in uh, Victoria, Australia, Melbourne, after lockdown six, we're there. G'day folks and welcome back. Part two of lockdown ended here in Melbourne. So let's uh, continue the journey. And uh, if you haven't seen the first part yet, go back to part one, watch that and then come back to this one. All right, let's go and uh, continue part two of lockdown ended Melbourne. And of course, if you're waiting to get into a place like Kmart, some shops, there's a, still a capacity at the moment. And look at the line. It just keeps going back and back and back. Yes, yeah, so this is a little bit of Burke Street here. And this section here, they actually closed off to the cars, so no traffic can get down. Just trams, so it's, uh, that's where everyone gathers. It's big, big precinct, it's got Myers, it's got everything here. So, look at that. It's a good place to... Um, Good place to come and check out as well. Plenty of shops. I said Meyer, David Jones. You got Cotton On. You got lots of places where you can buy uh, more buy clothes and food in this street. But um, yeah, it's definitely a good good place. Especially if you come here at night, things are lit up, nice and colourful, and uh, good place to come and check out. Yeah, but the sounds of the city, with life happening, everything, music going, people talking, birds singing, a lot of that rustling thing like in the city. I suppose this is happening all around the world now, everything's starting to open up, so it's just fantastic and we're getting life back to normal. So finally after the massive lockdowns here in uh, Victoria, Australia, Melbourne, after lockdown six, we're there. Yeah, so of course we're getting a little bit peckish and where else are we going to eat but our favourite place, the Sushi Hub. So uh, here in Swanson Street, so we're going to go and get a couple of them and fill our belly. Iris peckish, I'm a little bit hungry, so come on, let's go and see what we get. Down the prawn katsu, chiriyaki chicken. We've got our sushi. Now let's go and check out and see close up what it's like. All right, so let's have a little look. Ira will do the the honors. Oh, look at that teriyaki chicken for me. You got the prawn one, I think, and a little specialty, but that looks all right. Looks very, very tasty. What's yours like? Mm, that's prawns. Prawns, good. I'll give mine a go. Mm. Well, we have a guess. We have a guess. The old Melbourne pigeons. They're always around when they're hungry. But that sushi's good. Don't forget. The sushi hub. Here in uh, Swanson Street. Get down and try that. you like it. It's love what you do. There you go. You've got to feed the pigeons. <laughs> Flinders Street Station again.
Yeah, so over there you got the Academy of Moving Imagery. And of course, over there you've got one of the art centers. So if you're looking to go and check out some art, head over there and you'll be able to see some of that here. That's in Flinders Street. Yeah, but of course, there's nothing like coming in, checking out Hosier Lane, the great street art capital of Melbourne here. And we're going to pop one up there and have a look now. So here we are, we're in Hosier Lane. This is the famous uh, street in Melbourne where all the street artists come, get to uh, display all their art. And of course, it only lasts for a couple of weeks as uh, yeah, it gets painted over. But let's go and have a little look at some. Yeah, there's this beautiful coloured artwork here and they do a great job, all the artists. And there's one there, it's just preparing, getting ready, got the music going, getting in the mood, going to paint some art. Yeah, so they just use all their expressions of what they feel and what's going on. And they just express that on the walls and you get millions of... Uh, Millions of tourists come here every year and check it out. Definitely put this on your bucket list, folks. Don't forget your camera. Get some great photos. Yeah, so you can see just everything. The art's quite incredible. And they've even got a couple of cafes in uh, this street, in this laneway. And you can have a bite to eat. So you'll find all the type of art you like here, folks. It's everything. Just the colour of the buildings is amazing here in Melbourne, especially in uh, this laneway. This is an absolute must for anyone coming to Melbourne, put on their bucket list. Hose your lane. Yes, yeah, so this is one laneway in Melbourne, Hosier Lane, that just won't disappoint. It's fantastic, all the different, all the different artwork of so many different artists here in Melbourne, and uh, it's great. It's, it's absolutely famous in Melbourne here, the uh, Hosier Lane. So everyone gets down here and, and check it out. It's uh, so much to see, and uh, you'll certainly enjoy it. But yeah, do what you got to do, and but highly recommend get down to Hosier Lane. Yeah, so that's St Paul's Anglican Cathedral here. It's just a beautiful building. Look at that architecture. Just magnificent. Big. And it's actually quite beautiful inside. I'm not sure if it's open today, but it's a uh, beautiful building. Just a reminder, folks, don't forget your camera. Just like Ira. Loves taking the photos. So do I, and so does everyone, I think, but yeah. That's quite good. Very picturesque is Melbourne. And of course, you've got the, uh, the sunshine that comes out in Melbourne, the rain, but that's Melbourne weather. That's what we love about it. Yeah, so you've got these electric bikes here in Melbourne. So they're just, they're just around, and if you want to uh, hire it, all you do is you just tap your card on it for a little fee, and uh, you can use that to ride around Melbourne instead of walking. That's certainly a good way to get around. There's a proud Aussie. Got the flag. Got the old kangaroo. There's a better view of the cathedral. It's quite magnificent. Ah, uh, Melbourne. She's starting to come alive. All right, 
so let's head down now by the water and we'll have a look at the, uh, the beautiful views down there by the Yarra River in Melbourne. Uh, so we'll just come down these steep steps and we'll get down here. It's quite good down here folks, down by the water and uh, just beautiful. South Bank, so many cafes, restaurants, you can eat here, eat in, eat out, grab a boat, take a, uh, a little ferry ride up and down the Yarra, it's quite good. Pretty good cost, I think it's only about 20, 22, 26 dollars for an adult, so yeah definitely worth it, so check that out and you'll be able to get on the Yarra, go up and down. scenery we're on the bridge now have a look at have a look at all the way around across the Yarra you get to see good bits of Melbourne how's that pretty cool and of course if you want a helicopter ride over Melbourne they're available here too. Alright, so we're taking a little break now. We're just stopping, resting our back from all the walking we've done, all that tracking around Melbourne, uh, bringing that and showing you good folks out there. But yeah, we're just taking in the scenery here on the bridge overlooking Melbourne City. Have a look at that. Absolutely magnificent. It's just spectacular view, folks. So you got the uh, the little restaurant here, that's right in the middle of the Yarra. So you can eat there as well, right on the water. Look at that view. So this is a bit of Southgate here, and normally this is just got thousands of people. It's got cafes and restaurants all the way down, and all the way down there. It's a pretty big precinct, and uh, that's where people gather. Yeah, so they've got the cruising restaurant here, the Spirit of Melbourne cruising restaurant, and this is where you can come and get some of your boats from too if you're going to cruise up and down the Arra. So if you if you check out that view and you go all the way down, you go up past the MCG or we're heading out the other way. It's uh, quite a view, quite an experience. You never know what statues you'll find here. Have a look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But yeah, here are some of the ferries here. There's a ferry terminal and you can get a, a little boat like this, a ferry. You can go in there, you can sit inside or you can actually, you can sit on the back of it and uh, get a great time. So that's, that's really good, especially in the warmer days. Even like a day like today is pretty nice. The sun's out, not when it was raining of course, but uh, yeah, beautiful just to get on up and down the Yarra River. Yeah, you've got some more canoes there. They'll be doing some practicing, getting into some training. Looks like the mum's out there having a crack. That's fantastic to see. Yeah, a few little friends on the way back. <laughs> yeah, so it was a pretty good walk today, folks, just to check out Melbourne, see what's happening after about the third day of freedom here. All right, folks, well, that was a little bit of Melbourne unlocked. So it was just fantastic, Ira, wasn't it? Yeah, a lot of walking. A lot of walking, and there was quite a few people out. So 
I think everyone's eager to get out and get back to life and it was just great to see the vibe happening in Melbourne. So if you're down anywhere around this way, get down, check it out, get into the vibe and, and enjoy it as well. So uh, yeah, beautiful days coming in Melbourne weather, not too far away. So uh, we'll be back, that's for sure. And uh, we'll be enjoying it a little bit more. But anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the little tour around Melbourne today on just a few days after lockdown. And that's about all from us today. So if you liked it, don't forget, give it a big thumbs up, a like for us. That certainly helps in the algorithm. And if you so desire, uh, give it a subscribe. No worries at all. And hit that bell so you know when we drop another video. And if you want, drop a comment. See whatever you think, if you've got out anywhere and where you've been. And uh, that's all interesting for everyone to have a look and read in the comments. So we'll appreciate that and we'll try and uh, answer any questions that you have or you drop down there below. All right, Ira. There's only one thing left of the folks, and that is... Ciao for now. <laughs> Ciao for now, and we'll see you in the next bit.